everybody, we're back with Endoron. I'm your host, Rowan6, Rowan6 Gaming. We're back. Yeah. This is apparently there's some wolves over there. I'm gonna try to get a bow out. See if I can snipe them. Poor traveler. Gloves, take those. Ooh, what's that? Light. Spell tone. Life. Absorption? Oh. It's a it's like I think it's like a vampire touch. Vampires can use. Yeah. Oh, that's what I love about vampires. Life absorption. I can absorb life from any living thing. It seems pretty beautiful here. I can already see the dogs. Very hard, so that's why I'm using like little tactics here. Come on, no oh, crap. Weapon change. If your health doesn't regenerate, that means you have to take health potions. Maybe there's like medical supplies, or I mean, or if you take a rest, that heals you up. <gasps> oh, like a traitor here or something? Now, would you look at that? 
I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. What brings you here, my sir? No of your business. What? It's a long story. Who am I? Finn Delirez, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I... There we go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. W wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're... you're standing here, having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Unbelievable. <sighs> May I present... Carbos, as he lives and breathes. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called... Uh, Riverville. Ah, here, oh, take you. this. Truth be told, Riverville. you don't look so healthy. Your eyes... <laughs> ah, well... Whatever. What about my eyes? Mm, there's something mm, peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I would examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. So if I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Who knows? Maybe you caught something in that temple. What's your story? Uh... Can I trade some goods with you? Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Yay, let's give away the human flesh for one. Um, no, we want to give away our food. Oh, we're buying. That's right. Oh, no. How do I sell? Sell. Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. This is my stuff, right? Yeah, oh. Do you not have enough? Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can I'm use. Switch. That sort. Hold on. Switch is back. Hmm. Yeah. Why not? Show me what you've got. Okay, Maybe yeah. I have some things you can use. Okay. So switching. Back is B. Oh, back. Yeah, okay. There we go. Apparently, they don't like coins. Maybe like ancient type of coins. Try to keep the food. Keep the potions. Keep the nails. I have two of those and a sword, so we should be fine. Let's keep that, let's keep that. Give that away, give that away. Hit the nails, arrows, of course. I have a better armor right now. Yeah, that's better, right? I have two of those. Keep that. Get rid of that. That won't throw in books. I'll keep that. I have that much. 
difficult. Okay. By the Black where? Guardian, you really are an outlander, aren't you? What does that my mean? My path is... Well, it's just my path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. A... Mouth? You mean the... Uh, not exactly. Malthus designates mm. our place in society. Generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. You guys can read it. I walk the path of the erudites. And there's also the mm. manufacturers, the sublimes, and, of course, the pathless. Within these rules, we are free to choose a profession. But certain vocations that are available to an erudite are not permitted to a manufacturer. Which is one path below. However, below does not mean that it is in any way inferior. Everyone on Enderal does what they do best. And who would know better than the gods what exactly that is? But... You... Path does... You want to... In the folly of my youth, I might have thought about it, yes. But then, I realized that half of what goes wrong in this world has to do with the desire to advance. I am interested in living the righteous path, and to contribute to the preservation of my people. That's enough for me, and only the faithful will be granted the eternal paths upon death. Okay, um... Well, I didn't come up with it. Uh, oh, you're calling. Um, thanks f for letting me know. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. Carbos, do we need the still tomorrow? Or can I clean all the tools? Place is Finn. I'm playing. Don't bother me. <sighs> I guess that means no. What? Uh, um, uh, what? Uh, I'm like tripping. Hmm? By the righteous path. What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. Uh, Fever. God. Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Oh, so now we're brewing potions for complete strangers. I'm naked! Yeah. If the strangers are about to die of fever, then yes. There was that oath we swore once, remember? To help the afflicted, to... Whatever. Thank you. Gruntroots, Gruntroots. Ah, here we go. So, let's see, sheer cup, some water, ha, done, I can't make any promises, Shit. but- Finn, the still, explode. <laughs> Sorry, all right. 
We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah. You're paying for it. Here I thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse. <sighs> this day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. It'll help you. See? You already look a lot better. Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. But I think there was a... Just a What? You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, eh, whatever will be, will be. But there was an explosion and the voices. There were... Uh, explosion? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleries. Died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. Ha ha. Look, I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe... Wait a second. What was that? Hmm. I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Oh, shit! Ah! What the? Carbos! They... They've hit me, Finn. Those bastards. They've hit me. No! Carbos, I... Carbos! Do something, damn it! Do something! I saw the future. I can see the future. Now would you look at that? Oh, Our mysterious survivor has awoken. What the hell is happening? Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are in my very own campsite. And before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into a thicket. Luckily enough, most of your injuries are only superficial, and I've already taken care of them. Your fever, though, well. is an entirely different story. My fever? You, do you know anything about it? Yep, quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from first-degree arcanist's fever. I'm quite surprised that the old apothecarius didn't see that, to be honest. You're suddenly really? capable of doing things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? And you're feeling unusually strong and dizzy at the same time? While drinking herbal potions leaves a, well, kind of a, a bitter feeling in your head? Oh, uh, yep. yes, yeah. Your magical Thank talent has broken free inside you. I don't have any myself, but I've worked together with enough arcanists to know the signs. Simply put, what's happening is that your body can't cope with the magic. This isn't much of a problem at first, but if you don't do anything about it within the next couple of months, you'll find yourself running through the heartland naked, throwing fireballs at everything that moves. You'll lose your mind, to speak plain and all. But the fever, can it be treated, right? Yes, of course. Though someone who's magically gifted will always react differently to certain situations than someone who isn't. As I said, some herbs will always worsen your fever, as will magically contaminated areas. And about the... Visions? Do you know any about the, the fever? Or you can... You can treat it. Are you sure? The Andralian spider plague is known to cause visions in the infected. And if that's what you got in that old temple, you should start digging your grave. Because your body parts will start falling off in a few hours if you don't do something about it. <gasps> <laughs> no, nowhere. Because that plague doesn't exist. I have no idea what kind of visions you're talking about. Since the only visions I know of are those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. <laughs> but your reaction shows that you were trying to keep something from me. And that's not a good idea if you want my help. Hmm. You know what? Someone has to take care of your fever. And as it happens, I know someone who could. Yay! But in return, I want you to tell me everything. How did you get here? What did you do in that temple? And what exactly did you see in those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you. And that makes me curious. 
So, healing for information. What do you say? The healing for information sounds fair. I'm eager to listen. The long story begins. Hmm, I understand. My condolences for your loss. So that means you somehow survived this execution. And before you got washed ashore, you had this, what, this dream? In which you saw burnt bodies in a blinding light. Correct, hmm. correct, 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 I hope so. correct. So your magical outburst didn't happen slowly as it usually does. But all of a sudden, after this near-death experience, and with it came these visions. Correct. Interesting. I guess you know how absurd all this must sound, but somehow I believe you. Heck knows why, but I do. So, that means I'll introduce you to my employer. If anyone can help you, it's him. There is, Good. however, one thing with which I could use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can start our journey to Ark. Uh... Ark? Ark? The capital of this country? Walls high as towers of iron-hard stone, rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned, never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by the Lord, and blah 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 blah, and so on and so forth. If you plan on staying in this land, sooner or later you'll see it with your own eyes. And if I don't help you... Um, that's your call, I suppose. My curiosity is satisfied. But without me accompanying you, the guards won't let you into the Sun Temple and Ark. And that's where you need to go in order to treat your fever. But as I said, no hard feelings on my side if you want to play the lone wolf. Um... Who is this employer of yours? Or okay, then I'll help Splendid. You. There are some things that need some explanation before we can get started, however. Eh, where should I start? I take it you've noticed that in the past two and a half years, this w was fallen into the. Oh, I mean, stealing everything, right? you know? Civil wars, usurpers everywhere, you name it. And even though Enderol isn't directly affected by these wars going on everywhere, there are strange things here too. Take the Woodsiers, for example. There have been an unusual number of reports of wanderers being attacked by them in the open, which has never happened before. And it's the lost ones, the, the living dead. Until two years ago, they were a rather rare magical phenomenon. But now every other corpse not properly cremated starts walking again as if it were the most natural thing to do. Hmm. The strangest thing, however, is what they call the Red Madness. Do you think this occurs? Yeah, the rumors. I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true. And that there's a connection, yes. Then you believe that somebody did kill... As I said, maybe. If you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than false gods anyway. What do you about that? Well, they usually leave the thinking to their holy order. And they, of course, deny everything. Even to talk about it as we're doing is considered a crime. But as much as I hate to say it, maybe it's better this way. At least for now. A spiritual crisis is the last thing this country needs at the moment. And you think... Mm, Okay. <laughs> Please, don't take me as an example. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And this whole false deity theory isn't that new, after all. And seriously, let's say the Lightborn really are as mighty and omnipresent as the Revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to magically smite me here and now for my insolence? The Lightborn were just powerful kings. No more, no less. But that's just how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. I'm from, from it. No. Splendid. You never know. But we're digressing. True. Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their minds. Just a couple mm. of weeks ago, for instance, there was a smith in Ark who slaughtered his entire family. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like, Fear the light, while he was doing it. Or a young noblewoman who killed herself by setting her family estate on fire for no apparent reason. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, 
but by now there have been more than a dozen of them. That, and the fact that the possessed's eyes glow red shortly before and during their deed, has made people call it the Red Madness. <sighs> and just red. three days ago it happened again. Only this time it was a magister from within the Holy Order itself. A magister? Right, from here. A magister is a kind of sage from the Holy Order, who teaches the young novices who are aspiring to become keepers or arcanists. Yarrow was his name. A man who had more than 60 winners on his back. What does he... What did he do? He killed 15 novices and himself. According to the only eyewitness to survive, he entered the teaching room as usual to give a lecture on alchemy. But instead, he gave a strange speech in which he explained that humanity is corrupt. Void, as he put it. And his eyes started glowing, he locked the door, and... Well, he tore himself apart with a magical explosion. You can imagine the kind of uproar that caused. So, what your really is, all is this? Make... Well, I'm not exactly one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. I guess you could say my specialty is recovering things that have been lost. Treasures, <laughs> tomes, memories, and the like. And the Order hired me to do exactly that. They want to know how a highly intelligent man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. And also, if there's a discernible pattern to how this malady, or whatever it is, chooses its victims. Okay. True, but that's irrelevant. Yarrow grew up in a small village named Riverville, which isn't far from here. And according to some of the other wardens, he visited this area quite often after his partner's death. So it's quite possible we could find some clues around here. Shards of his past, if you like. I've already searched most of the area, but a second pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a plan. Well, for we starters, I needed to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred. He was a childhood <laughs> friend of yours, and he might be able to tell us something worthwhile. Oh, Papa. Secondly, I'm a boy Alfred. from the village told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the water near a cliff to the east. Go there and see if you can find whatever it was he wanted to get rid of. Okay. I myself will have a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Here, this is a map of the region. The blue dot over here is Yarrow's old house. Uh, and at the risk of sounding heartless, you should head back to the apothecary's camp. Maybe the bandits left behind some equipment. If there's nothing else, I'd say off we go. Let's shed some light on this Yarrow and his motivations. Meet me at his old house when you're ready. I'll be waiting there. You can't see your spell. You can see your spell if it's you have it out. That's okay, I guess.
Ow. That. Son of a bitch. That's for attacking our friends. I have revenged you. Items? Iron sword. Old sword fourteen, iron sword for There's a building up here, that's right. We got distracted. There were some things in here. Old. Hmm. Yeah, it's just too stupid as a sky. Chain boots. I could have done that.
get a shield now. Whatever. Now I'll have that. So I get a better spell spells because. Cause right now they're not doing much. Take everything. Leave nothing. So much fun. Rocks are very um, shifty up there. Falling down. Be careful over there. Cat means loot. Loot means stuff. Get every health I can.
bread. Can't be here for an hour. leads this way so we head this way. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's good. colored and everything. It makes you want to stay around a little bit longer. But guys, we're gonna end it right here. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!